Tarzan and the Diamond of Asher. and the diamond In the great temple of Ma'achu, in the forbidden city of Asher, Tarzan secures the golden disc containing the father of Duns, and with Tom, Darno, and Larson, carries it to Tira, queen of the Hesse Hair. Tira has agreed to free the ape man and his friends in exchange for the huge talisman. Tarzan and Tom demand to be shown the secret passage leading to the quarters of King Suten, where Magra is held. Tom remains behind long enough to learn where Tira conceals the golden disc. In the secret passageway, a hinged block of stone swings down from the ceiling, blocking the progress of Tarzan, Darno, and Larson. Roaring and hissing, great clouds of live yellow steam pour into the narrow tunnel from the opening. It, it is steam. Khalil, it will strangle us. <coughs> it means steam, all right. <coughs> But it, it tastes just like sulfur. It is sulfur. Oh, le bon Dieu. It will burn as well as suffocate us. On the floor, Dino. Listen, keep down. Where you been going? I'm going to try to shut off that steam. Oh, bon Dieu. This is terrible. My lungs are bursting. Stay close to the floor. This stone is hinged. If I get it back in place... Tarzan crawls along the tunnel floor to the great hanging stone. The steam clouds envelop him as in a thick yellow mist veil. The sulfur fumes burn and sear his throat and lungs as he crouches low under the granite trap. His mighty shoulders press upward against the slab. His bare feet grip the floor. The muscles of his powerful legs bulge and crawl as he rises slowly, steadily, lifting the great stone upward. Higher! Higher! Arms like columns of wet, glistening bronze reach up. Great hands with fingers splayed wide press against the huge slab, forcing it upward. With a last tremendous effort, Tarzan's body stiffens. A muffled clang, and the massive granite trap is closed. The suffocating sulfur clouds shut off. <coughs> the steam is shut off. Tarzan did it. <coughs> Stay close to the floor until the passage clears. The steam is rolling back the way we came. Lifting. And that woman, Sira, must have done it. I told you, she is not to be trusted. Too late to worry about that. Are you two all right? We, we, but my lungs feel as if they were on fire. No, mine too. But the steam been gradually thinning out. <coughs> it's been dropped somewhere through the roof. Yes. The passage must have ventilation. Mm, Grasso, bon Dieu, for that. I about given up ever seeing daylight again. <coughs> Those little blue lamps. 
funny the steam didn't put them out. And they probably burned some sort of natural gas. Though where it comes from or what it is, I do not know. Are you ready to go on? Sulfur fumes are pretty well gone. I've been ready. Oui, oui, mon ami. Mais mon Dieu, Tarzan, your hands and shoulders, they are like, like raw meat. That live steam. No, it's nothing. Come on. Careful here. The passage goes up steep. The stairs are cut right into the floor. What is there ahead of you, Tarzan? A door. Bronze, way up there. Did you see what he did, Lieutenant? He been lift that stone trap up on his shoulders. I could not see well, Lawson, through the steam clouds. But he pushed the stone back into place and scalded his hands and back terriblement while doing it. See <laughs> If it ain't pain for him, we have been boiled like a couple of shellfish. How does he do it, Lieutenant? He never see such a fellow before. Nor will you ever see another like him, mon ami. Tarzan is... Oh, Lord, he is Tarzan. Yeah, sure. Are you two coming? We're near the top of these steps. The bronze door is at the end of the passage on a small landing. Then we shall be out of this death trap in a few moments. I only hope that I may yet have the opportunity to speak a few words with that queen. I knew all the time she'd been having a surprise up her sleeve for us. That woman has got a bad eye. Here we are. It's the only door in the passageway and along the stairs, other than the one we came through. It must be the one Tira meant. You sure would like to see it been on the other side before we open it. Tarzan. Tarzan. Can you find the stone which opens it? Yes, I think so. This one, probably. It's a shade lighter in color than the other wall stones. Then we go in, Miss Pa. Listen. Right. I don't hear a thing. Quiet. Someone's moving up those stairs toward us. Meanwhile, Helen and Magra, in the quarters in the upper part of the temple, are trying to hit upon some plan which will postpone the evil day of the double marriage ceremony. Oh, Magra, how can you be so calm with this awful marriage hanging over your head? I can't even bear to think about it. What can we do, Helen? Only wait and hope. There is only one way out for us. Tarzan. Oh, yes. The hope that he and Paul are trying to find us and will in time to save us from from that. Oh, it's a mighty slim hope, Magra. If we only knew where they were. Yes, if we only knew. And the queen, his wife. The way he said she would not be his wife for long. Oh, the look in his eyes. Shh, be quiet. Oh, it's that, that beast, Suten. No, no, it is Hakeru. Quietly, Magra. Were it known that I am here, my life would be forfeit. Keep thy voices low. I may stay only a moment. What is it, Hakeru? It is of Tarzan I am come to speak. His punishment hath been decreed by the Council of Thirteen. It falleth on the day of the unveiling of the Father of Diamond. What... what is his punishment to be? That I know not yet. But I, who owe my life to the mighty Tarzan, have not abandoned hope that I may yet save him from the jealous wrath of Sultan. And Paul Darno, Tom, Larson... <laughs> Of them I know not, unless it be that they shall become slaves in the deep mines. I can do much for them now, perhaps later. Oh, but where are they, Hakeru? In the chamber where they were all placed at the order of Suten. And if I... If I agree to this match with your king, will Brian be released from that terrible spell? Nay, Helen Gregory. Suten himself would release him, were it not for the Council of Thirteen. But Suten may not stand against their decree. Thy brother is doomed to everlasting sleep. Then I'll kill myself before I permit that savage to touch me. Keep thy voice down, woman. There is a way to release thy brother from the spell of the father of diamonds. Listen closely. I shall tell thee how it may be done.
Back in the secret passage at the head of the stone stairway, Tarzan, Darno, and Larson stand motionless, tensely awaiting the old person whose cautious footfalls they hear advancing up the stairs toward them. The footsteps, careful, slow, continue to approach. They come nearer, nearer. Tarzan throws a quick glance over his shoulder at Darno and Larson. They stand grimly alert, ready. As the stalker reaches the head of the stairway and pauses, Tarzan draws a deep, slow breath, steps swiftly, noiselessly out of the shadow of a projection in the wall. Tarzan, man, you gave me a fright. Hey, ye, it ain't home. What kept you, Tom? We missed you back there shortly after we left Tira. Uh, my business in our share, Tarzan, is to get the father of diamonds. <laughs> I could not leave Tira's quarters without it, or... Uh, at least until I knew where it had been concealed. So that is where you were, eh? Mejdi Tom, you are persistent. <laughs> and I suppose the lovely Tira informed you where she had secreted the gem. <laughs> she did better, my friend. She showed me its hiding place. And there are no hideous prehistoric monsters guarding it now. You been a lucky fella, Tom. Lucky? How so, Larson? By staying back there to find out what Tira did with the diamond, you miss being almost strangled to death in the tunnel. If it wasn't for Tarzan... We he... would not be here now. They turned the cloud of sulfur steam into the passage. Yeah, so that is where the odor of sulfur comes from. I was wondering... We're wasting time here. I'm going to open this door. Don't know what we'll walk into, but we've got to take the chance. Are you ready? We, oui, Tarzan, just we pray. I can't be more ready than I've been now, Tarzan. Open the door. I am ready. No, no, no. Look, the queen yeah. did tell the truth. Tarzan! Oh, oh Tarzan! Oh, Paul! Oh, I knew you'd come. Oh. Magra, my dear, have you eyes only for Tarzan? A tantum is also here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure, and Lars Larson. I am sorry, Atan. I saw only Tarzan as he came to the door. The surprise of seeing I him. I understand, Magra. Oh, it is so wonderful. All together again. Yeah, sure. All but Wolf. Poor Wolf. The king told me. We have been frantic, Atan, hoping and praying that you would come to us and... And we found Brian. Your brother is here, then? Alive, Helen. Oh, alive, but he is helpless, Atan, in a state of suspended animation. Where is he? On this corridor, just a few steps from this chamber. We were taken to him by the king and the Kiro. Show me the way, <laughs> Helen. I'll bring him here. It is too late, Tarzan. Here they come. That's the Aryan guard. Barbara, Helen, get out behind that stone bench. Home, Larsa Darno, back to the wall here. 